Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number three of Logic 301, Piano Arithmetic. Now, we're going to be looking at today, what is an inductive set? So, before we define natural numbers, we need to define one more property of sets and classes, what it means to be an inductive set. This is named for the fifth piano postulate, the principle of mathematical induction. An inductive set is one where zero is a member, and for any member, the successor of that member is a member. This means that any deductive set contains zero, one, two, three, etc. Because it contains zero, and every successor of any member in that set, meaning every successor of zero, therefore all the natural numbers. Note that not all inductive classes are sets, though the ones that we focus on will be. There's a simple way to see this. The universal class V is not a set, but it is inductive. How is it inductive, you may ask? Let's take a look at a short informal proof. Last month we proved that the union between any two sets is a set itself. The null set is a set by axiom 3, so 0 is a set. Last month, we also proved that the set of a set is a set. The way that successors are created is by taking the union of a set and the set of that set, both of which must be sets. All successors of a set are sets because successors are merely the union of the original set and the set of that set, which we have proven must be a set, and the union of any two sets is a set. Therefore, the two constitutive pieces of a successor strip relationship are going to be a set, assuming that the original number is a set. We've already shown that zero is a set. That's one of our axioms by axiom three. Therefore, the universal class is inductive because it contains zero, zero is a set, and all of zero's successors, because all we're doing is taking unions of things that we are already confident are sets. But as noted, the universal class, of course, is not a set. Therefore, math, what we've shown is that not all inductive classes are sets. And we've discovered our first inductive class, namely the universal class. Mathematical induction will help us to prove this out more formally, but this is just a basic informal proof to give you the sense that we're not just talking about the set of natural numbers when we're talking about inductive classes. Inductive classes can be any number of things that fit these rules. So here's the formal definition we're going to be using, where IN stands for is an inductive class. For all A, A is inductive by definition equals the null set is a member of A, and for all B, B is a member of A implies that the successor of B is a member of A. For all classes A, A is inductive is defined as the null set is a member of A, and for all classes B, if B is a member of A, then the successor of B is a member of A. We're going to call this inductive set definition in proofs. Up next, what are the natural numbers? Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.